Yo guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another episode of our Nottingham Forest career mode. We are starting on some bad news today. Kasami is refusing to sign a new contract. We got an email about player contracts running out, so we renewed them. But Kasami was the only player who rejected, so I upped his money a little bit more with a second contract offer. But he refused, and then we got this message that is right in front of you. No matter what contract we put on the table, he is going to reject. It's such a shame because he's a great player and is valued at £10 million. And he could go for free because he has less than six months on his contract. So not only is it a shame because he's a great player, but we could be losing out on around 10 to 15 million pounds which is quite a big sum of money for a club like us at the moment because we've only got i think 7 million in the transfer budget so in between 10 15 million pounds would be a, a a big help in bringing in players so any suggestions with who to replace him with would be very very helpful indeed so now that is out of the way let's go ahead and get into some games our first game in this episode is away at arsenal and then we start our fa cup journey against cardiff at home so let's get let's go ahead and get into this arsenal game we've been in pretty good form basically all season so i'm going into it pretty confident of getting something out of it so let's go ahead and get straight into it right here we are away at the emirates we've changed things up a bit because our last game was only a few days ago so quite a few players were tired so we've changed it up we've got thorn up top carrial playing at cam osborne on the right aaron's on the left livermore lansbury in the central midfield lakaviti right back kieran tierney left back hobbs and mancy in the center back pickford of course in goal and look who is on the bench asam belonga is back from injury and i think i'm gonna bring him off for about half hour hopefully he doesn't get injured again because that was would be such a big miss because I think I've missed him because if he was fit for the this whole season so far I think we'd have quite a few more goals to be honest because he did have a good start to the season so here we go we're going up against Arsenal it's going to be a tough game of course here we go nice early attack Aaron's are we going to have a strike on his left foot we are straight down the keeper's throat Ospina I think they fielded a pretty strong team so I'm happy about that it's going to be a competitive game hopefully here we go. We're going to play it down the line here. Thorn, go on. Out muscle. Murtisacker, he's done it. We're going to have to turn back. Put it to the back post. Oh, nearly. Oh, what's this? Kerriel is on his left foot. Has a strike just over the crossbar. Kerriel. There's a big open space in the Arsenal defence at the moment. Here we go. Thorn up into Gorn. Gorn Osborne. This is great player in the box. I don't think we're going to make it though. We're going to play it back into the box. Lansbury. Oh, what a save from Ospina. What a great bit of play that was. I think it was just behind Lansbury. But it's still a decent strike and a very good save. But here we go. We're on the attack still. We're still on the ball. Livermore, we're going to put a cross in. It's a good one, but it's going straight to Monreal. And he's going to clear it straight to Giroud there. But he's giving it straight to Lansbury. And we're going to have a strike. Is it out for a corner or a goal kick? It's a corner just under 20 minutes played. And... We're, we've had a good start to this game. Can we get anything from this corner? Here we go. Manson goes up. Oh. I thought Thorne might have got that, but the keeper gathers it up. All right, Arsenal on the attack here. El Elneny's going to play it into Debushi. They are just passing it. Look at his first freaking quick one-touch football. I just cannot win the ball back. If I do win it, they are kind of open at the back. They've only got two players back, but they're in the ball. Here we go, Giroud on the box. He's going to have a strike at goal. Wow. I just could not get the ball there. That was ridiculous. And Giroud with a very good strike towards goal. And Pickford cannot keep it out. Could he have done better there? He got a little touch on it, I think, there. I think Pickford could have been doing better with that. But Arsenal 1-0 up and half hour played. 15 minutes till the break. Hopefully we can level it before the referee blows his half-time whistle. All right, Carroll first time into Tierney. Go on, Carroll. Continue your run, mate. Continue it. He's in there. He's got El Nenny on him. And El Nenny has won it. El Nenny is so good. So good at reading the game. So good at reading the game. But here we go. Oh, what a tackle from Hobbs. But Arsenal still have the ball. Oxlane Chamberlain. I'm not going to catch him. I am not going to catch him. Has he got support in the box? He's got two players in there. Is he going to cross it? He is. It's a very good cross. Giroud is there. Chest sit down. Why did he not header it? If he headed that, that would have been 2 0 before the break. Carey all going to play it into Thorn. Why is he in that sort of position? Why is he not in the box? Why is he not in the box? But here we go. We're on the ball here. Osborne are going to have a strike at goal. El Nenny gets in the way. 
Hopefully that's not going to set them on the attack. That's the only good thing about having Giroud. He can hold up the ball, but he can't turn and run past my defence on a, on, a, on a dribbling run because that's not what he does. That's the only good thing about playing against Giroud. We're on the attack here. We're inside the box. We'll have a strike. A goal. Did it get deflected? Is it a corner? Yes, it is. Thorn in to Livermore. Wait for the overlap from Lansbury. Across the keeper for 1-1. One, one. It's a save. Oh, it spins away from Keriel and it's a goal kick. Right, we've got 15 minutes remaining of this game and we're still 1-0 down. Livermore looking very tired, so we're going to bring Kasami on. We're going to bring Asam Belonga on for Keriel. And I think we are going to take Aaron's off on the left-hand side and bring on Traore. See what those subs can do. Hopefully they can get us back in the game, at least get us a point. We don't deserve it, but it would still be nice. And that's what, still what we're going for, you know what I mean? Even though you know you don't deserve it, you're still going for a point. Here we go, Awobi on the ball here, plays it into Lucas, he loses it. Right, here we go, come on, let's do this. Oh, great play by Asam Belonga, we've missed him so much. Into Traore, heavy touch, another heavy touch. We're going to hit hard and low into the box, it's a good one, Asam Belonga. Oh my, Asam Belonga with an absolute brilliant chance. It was just a whippage of a cross, I don't know how he directed it that well. Even though it weren't on target, he directed it so well towards the goal. We could have made it 1-1 a couple minutes before full-time. Uh, and there is the full-time whistle. If we get defeated by Arsenal, it's not a shock, is it? I mean, they nothing, not a lot happened in that game, to be honest. It was just a very, very controlled game from Arsenal. As expected, they played the ball about and kept the ball for long, long periods of that game. Let's go ahead and get into our last game of the episode, which is the start of our FA Cup journey against Cardiff. Hopefully, we can advance into the next round. So here we go in the FA Cup. Here is the team we are fielding against Cardiff City. We're starting with Asam Balonga. His first start coming back from injury. Locatelli playing just behind him. Traore on the left. Forrest on the right. Livermore and Kasami in the middle. Worrell and Lamb at centre-back. Gabriel at right back, Congolo left back, Pickford of course in goal, hopefully we can get a good result here, wasn't the best of performances against Arsenal, they were very good, they controlled the game for long long periods of, of the whole game, I mean it was just crazy, I've never been a part on FIFA, a part of such a one-sided game on the ball, it was just ridiculous, hopefully we can get a a few goals here against Cardiff, we should be getting a few goals and we're on the attack here, Forrest has a strike, over the bar comfortably but yeah like I said hopefully we can get a few goals and get a nice result here against Cardiff and advance into the next round of the FA Cup right here we go can we go on an attack I think this would probably be our first real attack of the game if we do get something out of this here we go because Sam you're gonna play it in the middle here nope I didn't want it to ask some longer but here we go run the ball here Forrest has a strike at goal slices it wide of the target five minutes until half time and Oh, nothing has happened in this game. This game has been absolutely dreadful. Here we go. We're going to play in the middle to Locatelli. That is a nice ball into Locatelli. It reached him through a couple of players there. But here we go. Kasami up into Livermore. Going to strike it on his left foot. I think that was straight at the keeper. Keeper didn't have to worry about that. On his left foot. Wanted it on his right foot. I think it would have been a better strike at goal if it, if it came off his right foot. Here we go. Cardiff City are through my defence. Keeper's coming out. Pickford. Oh, look at that. Absolute brilliant keeper. But he's still out. Goal. Has a strike. And it goes over the crossbar. Wow. That was a great bit of goalkeeping. I mean, I don't know. I, my defence, I just messed up there big time. I slid in. Totally missed the challenge. And they were through my defence. And the keeper comes out. Pickford again to the rescue. All right, here we go. We're going to play it over the top to Locatelli. That's a great pass. Go on, chest it down. He's chested it down. Oh, it's up in the air here. We can get it. Knock it down to Asam Belonga. Good first touch. Have a strike towards goal. Down low. A good save from the Cardiff City goalkeeper. Out for a corner. Look at that. That's the best chance of the game so far. Very good save. We get a corner just before the break. Can we do anything from it? Here we go. Livermore whips it in. It's a very good one. On the penalty spot. Up in the air. Can we win it a second time? Yes, we can. And can we win it a third time? No, we can't. All right, Cardiff City corner five minutes into the second half. Are they, oh, they uh, loop one to the back post and Pickford pulls off a very good catch. And can we go on the attack here? Here we go, Traore. 
Go on left, go on left hand side, Congolo. Yes, heavy touch. Go on, son. Another heavy touch. Yes, we can get we can get a chance away at a goal here. We're gonna have to turn back though. And we're gonna play it up to Locatelli. First time finish. Oh, Asabalonga. Oh, it gets deflected off the defender. It nearly goes in to his own net. Wow. I didn't want it to Asambolonga, I think, just run over the ball and left it for Locatelli. It's still going to Locatelli, but it just kind of confused me for a minute then. Oh, mate. Cardiff City free kick in a kind of a dangerous area. They pull it into the box, but hopefully we should be getting out. Livermore, yes. Forrest in to Asambolonga. Look out wide. Traore's on the move. He's on the move, but there's no space. There's no space. We're going to have to turn back. And we're going to have to stop the attack. Unbelievable. But can we go on? Can we continue here? Gabriel into Locatelli. Down into Asambolonga. Into Forest. Oh, this is good play. Get it, son. Oh, is it a penalty? Yes, it is. We get a penalty. Wow. I actually thought that was a good challenge at first. I thought he got the ball. But obviously, the referee disagrees. Let's take a second look at that. Here we go. He comes in. No, he don't get the ball whatsoever. That's a great decision by the referee, and we get a brilliant opportunity. And you know what? Forget Kasami. I know he's on the pitch, but he's not taking. He's not taking it. Asam Belonga, he wants to leave, so we'll let Asam Belonga take it. Here we go. I'm dreadful at penalty, so I'm not confident going up for this whatsoever. But here we go, Kasar. Asam Belonga. I was about to say Kasami. Then I started saying Kasami, and I was like, "What the hell?" But Asam Belonga makes it one 0 Just over an hour played, and yeah, we get the goal. We don't. We don't deserve it in the second half. This, the whole game has been absolute dreadful, to be honest. And I think a lot. Not not a lot has happened, but. We get the goal and hopefully that should push us on in this game. And here we go, Kasami into Forest, play it into Locatelli. Look at the space here. Look at the space. Go on, keep going, son. Is this Livermore? It is. We're going to have a strike on his left foot. Oh, it's a decent one. But I think it was comfortably over the bar considering the keeper's reaction. Didn't really go for it whatsoever, did he? Let's take a look at that again. Ah, that was a poor effort. That was a poor effort. Even though it's on his weaker foot, it should still be doing better there. All right, here we go. We're on the attack here. We've got space in front of us. We've got Traore. He's got the pace. Go on, son. Keep going. We're going to have to turn back, though. And we're going to give it into Livermore. Up into Kasami. First time finish from Kasami. And wow. Wow, Kasami. You know what? If you keep doing that, you can freaking leave, mate. <laughs> Right, we get a throw in here. We're into injury time of this game, so hopefully we should be picking up the win. But we're in a decent area of the pitch here, and we're going to play it. Nope, we're not. We're going to get tackled, but we're going to play it. Locatelli. Oh, what a turn that is. We're going to have a strike or goal on his left foot across the keeper, but it goes past the post. But there is the full-time whistle. We advance into the next round. Wasn't the best of performances. This episode was pretty poor, to be honest. Performance-wise, chance-wise, goal-wise... I mean, we lose against Arsenal, but we do advance into the next round of the FA Cup, which I want to go on an FA Cup run. I mean, I'm not talking about I want to go on an FA Cup run like, oh, let's get to the quarterfinals. Let's try and get to the semifinals. What's the point in getting to the semifinals? What's the point in getting to the quarterfinals? If you want to go on a cup run, you want to win it. You want to win it, basically. That's what you're saying. I mean, there's no, you don't get nothing out of getting to the quarterfinals. You only get something out of a cup run by winning the trophy. So that is my aim this season. Obviously, avoid relegation, of course. I don't care where I finish in the table. I just want to avoid relegation, which I should really do. And my main aim is to win the FA Cup. That is, I'm putting it out there. I want to win the FA Cup. And after that Arsenal defeat, we are still on top of the table. Look at the top two after 20 games. Not enough Forest on top and Watford in second. 37 points we are on. And Watford are on 35 points. Chelsea and Spurs on 34 points. Man United is still in fifth. It feels like they've been fifth forever. I mean, that is just, it just feels like that. They're 32 points in fifth place. And then you've got Liverpool, Crystal Palace, Stoke and Arsenal in 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th all on 31 points and Middlesbrough are doing very decent indeed they're above Manchester City and I mean by a couple of points and they've only got 5 defeats to the name out of the first 20 games that is a very very good record so far and Newcastle oh look at that they have 9 points now they've got another win to their name they're starting the last 3 three or 4 three, four games or so I think they've got 4 points so they're on an okay run of form but I, don't, I still don't see them coming back from that to be honest I know it's only 10 points 20 games still a long long way to go but I still don't see him coming back from that. But let's go ahead and now take a look at the next games we have coming up for you in 
tomorrow's episode. We kick it off with Manchester City at home. Considering their start, they're doing very good. But considering their squad, they're not doing very good. If you understand what I'm saying. mid Well, just below mid-table, I think. I think, are they 11th place? A point, a place behind Middlesbrough in 10th. So they are in 11th place. I just remembered. <laughs> we'll kick it off with Manchester City at home. And then we'll end it with Sunderland away. And I believe, obviously, we did win. We advanced into the next round of the FA Cup. So I think... The next round of the FA Cup will be on the 27th and 28th of January. And we'll probably find out who we have in the next round in tomorrow's episode. So that is where I'm going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Have a great day. Peace.